Assalamu alaikum, brother Adam. What's going on? Hey, welcome, Islam SQ. What's going on? Oh man, mashallah. Nice hearing from you, man. It's just, it's really awesome speaking to you. Listen, SQ, I've been watching your stuff, man, and uh, I'm a huge fan, and I want you to be an honorary member of the Adumi Gang. Me? Yeah, you. A part of the Adumi Gang? Yeah, bro, the Adumi Gang. <sighs> bro, it's like, yeah, man, my entire dream, my true. life has come true, bro. Like, I know, bro, I know. All I really wanted in life was to really obtain paradise Jen, and cool. become a part of the Adumi gang. Bro, how, how, how do I do it? How do I get initiated? Man, the Adumi gang initiation is easy. Okay. You just have to take Keep your finger, finger, yeah, yeah, and just uh, stick it all the way up in your nose. My nose. All the way deep in there and pick at it a little bit and put in your mouth. <laughs> oh my God, you're pranking me? I got God, you, SQ, man, you're such a, a prankster, bro. Oh, you're you crazy, man. You're, you're so crazy. But listen, I have one question for you, though. Uh, yeah, man, go for it. What's your question, bro? You Illuminati? <laughs> Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. If you're someone who feels like you're living a double life and you feel like a hypocrite because of your pornography or masturbation addictions, stay till the end of this video because I'm going to give you a completely anonymous eight-stage program to help you get rid of these evil habits forever. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alhamdulillah, I'm so overwhelmed with joy and gratitude that Allah sent you to this channel today to spend a little bit of time with me. So on my YouTube recommended page, I see a video from my best bros, Adam and Slim. Man, you cap and you don't even know them. And in this video, they have a very personal interview with the little homie, South London's pride and joy, Harris J, which I'm gonna link in the description. In this video, Harris is talking about living a double life, getting arrested, and just not wanting to be fake anymore and quitting the sheets. Because because it's not the only thing that goes on in, in, of course, in our life. You wanna make songs to like your family, your future exactly. wife. Like, you know what I'm saying? About, like, about normal life. Like, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise I'll just feel fake. So they they agreed. They were like to me, yeah. Let's just start off by letting people know about about your background and that and that you're a Muslim. So sing about sing with like an Islamic ethos. And then after the first album, we'll we'll get onto like talking about you, and then you can make other music. As you can see from this clip, it seems like Awakening Records is already doing him a disservice by causing him to live a fake and double life because he doesn't want to talk about Islam only. That's not the only thing going on in his life, apparently. He wants to talk about himself, his feelings, and his... I'm not sure exactly what he wants to talk about, but he just doesn't want to talk about Islam only. He wants to make his own type of music. You get it? And yeah. all the people around the world that didn't know me, they only knew one version of me, but I was happy at that point because they only knew a good version of me. Yeah. But then, after a certain amount of time, it just kind of like, it takes its toll on you, like people not knowing who you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you can, imagine if imagine if I was I was chilling with you guys for like two, three years. For the first like four or five months, if I was faking who I was, I could kind of like feel comfortable. But after like a while, I would just feel mad weird, like not being normal around you guys you know what i'm saying hashtag relatable am i right i mean it's like awakening records were promoting him to be this perfect poster boy for islam but he's like yo i'm not who you think you want me to be like i'm not the person that you want me to be and you know what like i actually gained a little respect from hearing this answer from him because a lot of people will probably be in the industry faking it right now and that's not who they are yet he was self-aware enough to realize that look i don't care how big of a bag they're giving me i need to be me and i need to escape from this type of vibe and you know what i respect him for that there'll be times yeah <laughs> no i've never told people this but there'll be times yeah where I would be like, I'd like I got arrested, and then from the police station, I'd have to fly to the airport. What you know? you, would you get arrested? For? What are you talking about? Arrested? arrested. Bro, I, just you know, just normal kid stuff when you're young, yeah. growing up, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, what you get arrested for? Just just regular kid stuff like uh, smoking and breaking and entering and just like robbing people. Just regular kid stuff, you know, just some murder, no big deal, you know, just just. just just kid stuff, you know, just kid stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Harris J getting arrested for just looking so damn adorable. Am I right? So yeah, he's gonna feel like he's doing his fans a disservice and he's being fake to his fans. But the real problem is Harris feels like he's being fake to himself because he knows that the person that they see on the TV on stage is not who he truly is. He's just a regular kid who's trying to figure himself out and his beliefs right now and who he is and the values that Awakening want him to be don't align and that's causing him some spiritual and emotional friction and essentially he's gonna want to quit. And go and do like a concert in like Malaysia and just smile and pretend like 
my whole life was happy and sing about like the prophet and Allah and like just just pretend like nothing wrong was nothing was going wrong. Wow, wow. Like, oh, my family were like worrying so much well, about everything. And honestly, just so much respect to him for owning that and being self-aware enough to recognize that, yo, that's not who I am. And he was living a double life because he's being one person in front of the camera and the crowd as to who awakening and the whole world wants him to be. But in the process, he's losing himself. And honestly, I can totally relate to this because I remember once upon a time, I, I would be in the first stuff of, 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 of the masjid, right? First stuff praying in the front line, bro, like praying. And people would compliment me and just say, brother, mashallah, you're doing so well. You're doing so good. Wow, mashallah, you're such a good brother. But what they don't realize is that I was smacked. I was high. I was smoking and coming to the masjid out of guilt. You see? And I was living a double life. And I felt like I didn't belong in the religion myself. And honestly, I just felt like a straight up hypocrite. And I'm pretty sure Harris and anyone else living a double life could vibe with this. Because the shaitan's plan is to make you live a specific lifestyle that takes you away from the deen. And that's his job. His job is to literally take you away from the path of Allah. So when I realized that this was happening, I had a choice to make to myself. Like, yo, am I going to stay on the path of Allah? Or am I going to stay on the path of, you know, fulfilling all of my desires? And honestly, the shaitan was dragging me down. But I had to do my best and say, you know what? I'm going to leave this for the sake of Allah and I'm going to focus on developing myself. But that could only happen with a ton of self-awareness and a lot of honesty. So what would what would be happening is, you know how like fans can get sometimes that they, they get like, you know what I'm saying? They get excited when they see you and stuff and 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 yeah. and, and, and pe pe people go crazy. It's just in the moment, you know what I'm saying? Like adrenaline and stuff. So like in Indonesia especially and like in in the in Southeast Asia and Malaysia and stuff like that, people were wild, bro. People 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 were going crazy. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and awakening started getting mad complaints, like from I don't know, from parents of people and like from from organizations that were saying like this guy's coming into the country and he's turning like our oh, children like crazy and like they're taking off the hijabs and they're and they're going mad and stuff what and, yeah voila and then that hey, but yo. they're making it seem like it was my fault i mean it is your fault man have you seen how good looking you are i mean mashallah you're just a straight up halal snack it's just so obvious that big record labels such as awakening is just straight up pimping him out and they don't care about his emotional or mental struggles and health that he's dealing with right now because he's dealing with something right now and they just don't seem to care because Harris unfortunately it's just a straight up cash cow and they're just going to keep milking him as long as he's able to generate some money for them if they're doing it they're just doing it i don't know i can't control it it's not my fault it's and the curly hair it's your fault it's the curly hair it's the <laughs> Dimples. <laughs> <laughs> Straight hair, bro. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys crack me up. You guys are comedians, man. This is comedy gold. So then, and then, so I'm telling Awakening, and Awakening are then telling me they're coming to me, and because they're getting a lot of pressure on them, and they're saying, yeah. you need to tone it down, like, you need to not encourage us. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm just wearing the ab or something. Hey, do you have the reports? Yes, sir, I do. All right, so go on. Well, according to the reports, sir, Palestinians are still being killed by the Zionists and Syrians are still being bombed on and freezing to death. Oh, goodness, not those reports. The other reports. Oh, about Harris. Yeah, how's he doing? Well, sir, he seems to be a little bit off. I think it's because of that lifestyle that he's living as a 15 and 16 year old. And it's really taking a toll on his spirituality, his mental health, and his emotional health. And I'm thinking that we should do something about that for his well being. Mental health is not important to us. Tell me about the numbers. How's he doing with the numbers? Well, sir, the numbers are great. They couldn't be better. But there seems to be a teeny tiny problem, sir. A problem, you say? Go on. Well, sir, while they're cleaning up the stadiums after the concert's over, they seem to be finding a lot of hijabs on the floor. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Hijabs belong on the head. Yeah, sir, and apparently parents are complaining that they don't like the environment of the concerts and uh, they don't like how these girls behave around Harris. Wait, then why are parents sending them to the concert? I don't know. Well, let's go with that. Apparently putting a good-looking teenage boy on stage amongst thousands of thirsty hormonal girls 
can cause pandemonium. Wow, wow. All right, from now on, we're gonna have Harris wear a niqab. Very liberal. Oh yeah, and send Semi Yusuf and Mahir Zayn to the concerts with Harris so that all these thirsty teenage girls can think about their dads. Great idea, sir. You are so corny. This is why nobody watches your videos. I mean, all jokes aside, guys, for reals though, like, the little homie Harris J is clearly dealing with something even now, not just before, but something now. And my earnest and sincere advice to him would be keep trying to find yourself, keep discovering who you are, but with the help of God. Because if you lose your connection with Allah, you're going to lose yourself because there's no way that you can learn about who you are unless you figure out and learn and develop a better connection with the one who made you. And for all of you guys out there who are dealing with this double life, battling internally with this struggle and specifically about pornography or masturbation, I want you to really take some action to eliminate this. I have a eight stage program in the description below from my Tuskia and their job, literally they specialize with over 10 years of experience and a ton of success rates of helping people get rid of pornography and masturbation addiction. So my earnest advice to you out there, if you're specifically dealing with this type of issue within yourself that got you feeling like a hypocrite or living a double life, or you just feel like, listen, I don't want to be addicted to pornography or masturbating anymore. I want you to click the link in my description and literally sign up for their program to help you get rid of this ugly, dirty habit so you could free yourself from the chains of the devil and become the best version of yourself and unlock your true potential. Everything with my Tiski is completely anonymous and confidential, so you have nothing to worry about, but you just have to take the step to join the program. It doesn't matter if you're a brother or you're a sister. They have specialized in helping people who are addicted to pornography and masturbation get rid of that habit. So don't delay your time. Click the link in my description, sign up right now, and get rid of this habit forever. Well, that was the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Do not forget to smash this video with a huge thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm can promote more positive content like this. And please remember that if you benefited from this video, make sure that you also consider subscribing by hitting this button right here. And of course, if you'd like to spend a little bit more time with me, I know you do, click this video right here. And until next time, I'm out.